everyone. I'm Mandy. Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. In this video, I'm going to talk about Sichuan peppercorns and hopefully answer all the questions that you guys have on this ingredient. If you have been following my show, you probably see me putting it in all different recipes, such as fillings, chili oil. I sprinkle it on crispy food, use it to blanch or braise meat. It's such an amazing spice. In Chinese, it's called hua jiao, but it has many English translations. Despite its name, Sichuan pepper has nothing to do with black pepper or chili pepper. It's a citrus fruit from a plant called xanthocillin in the family of Lutasia. It's not spicy at all, but it is known for its citrus aroma and its numbing effect. Sichuan pepper contains an element called hydroxy alpha sanju, which gives you a numbing and tingling feeling. This feeling makes your taste buds sensitive to flavors, so you will feel that the food becomes more delicious. Before I tell you how to use it, I need to warn you: if you have never had this ingredient before, Please start with a small amount, such as one teaspoon per pound of ingredient. See how you like it, then adjust from there. Everybody has different tolerance. If you use too much, your tongue won't be able to taste anything for a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not harmful, and the feeling will go away. If you use the correct amount, it really opens up a whole new world to your Chinese cooking journey. There are many ways to use it. For whole peppercorns, we put it in water or stock to blanch or braise meat. It will release a nice fragrance and make your soup or stew smells better. It is convenient to put it in a disposable spice bag so you can discard the peppercorns once you're done cooking. You don't want to leave it in the soup because it's tough, and it doesn't feel good if someone bites into it by accident. In my grilled fish recipe, I saute the Sichuan peppercorns with a lot of red chilies in a little bit of oil over low heat until fragrant. This creates a classic flavor called mala, which means numbing and spicy. Mala flavor usually pairs with lots of aromatics, so this dish is super fragrant. In this recipe, I did keep the Sichuan peppercorns whole for two reasons. Number one, I'm tolerant. <laughs> Number two, sauteing Sichuan peppercorns in oil lightens the numbing effect. Most of the flavors transformed into the oil, so it's not too powerful. Another classic way to use Sichuan peppercorn is to make jiao yan seasoning. You just toast it with salt, black pepper, and white pepper over low heat for a few minutes, then blend into a fine powder. You can sprinkle it on any deep-fried crispy food. It will instantly bring the dish to another level because the tingling effect makes the crunchy texture stand out. It is an essential spice in my pantry. You can use it to season almost anything you want, such as marinating meat, making dumpling filling, spice up mapo tofu and kung pao chicken. Since it is a powder form, it can evenly distribute into the dish, so it's not too powerful. A lot of pantry staples, such as red chili oil, five spice powder, and hot pot flavor base, they all contain Sichuan pepper. You almost can't make Sichuan cuisine without this ingredient. Other cuisines also use it because it's popular all over China now. I will link all the recipes that you can make with Sichuan peppercorn. You can check it out in the description if you're interested. There are two types of Sichuan peppers on the market: red and green. I know this looks kind of like brown. <laughs> That's because it's dry. Anyway. The red one smells super complex, but less numbing. The green one smells a little bit bland, but the numbing effect is stronger. Unless a recipe specifically asks for the green type, you always want to cook with the red one because it just smells and tastes better overall. When you buy the red Sichuan peppercorn, the redder the better. 
These two are both the red type, but you can see the color difference. The left one is low quality. It has no aroma and numbing effect. Some people tried Sichuan peppercorn and felt nothing. That's probably a quality issue. You want to get the one that has a vivid color. It means fresher and a stronger aroma. If you look carefully, this one has a lot of seeds. You see these black little beads? Those are the seeds. And you can barely find any in this one. That's a good thing because this is a citrus fruit. All the flavors are concentrated in the red peel. The seeds will only bring you bitterness. How to store it? Please keep the whole peppercorns in a sealed jar. It will stay good in the freezer for 24 months, in the fridge for 18 months, or at room temperature for 12 months. It is still edible once it exceeds the storage time, but the aroma and the numbing effect will start to fade. For the Sichuan peppercorn powder, also keep it in a sealed small little bottle like this, but it can only stay good at room temperature for two months. That's why I don't recommend buying the pre-grind powder from the store. Who knows how long it has been sitting on the shelf? The best way to do this is to keep a jar of whole Sichuan peppercorns in the kitchen, roast and grind just enough for two months, then use as needed. For those of you who don't have a spice grinder, you can actually mince the Sichuan peppercorns with a knife or use a mortar and pestle. It doesn't need to be super fine. We just don't want the whole peppercorns to overpower your mouth. Just want to show you how they look when they're fresh on the branches. <laughs> the aroma is much more intense and they have a fresh lime zest fragrance. The dry version is lack of that, but still very good for cooking, so you don't need to buy it fresh because it's really hard to get access to. You have to put it in the freezer to preserve the aroma. All right, that is all the information for today. I hope this video is helpful and encouraging because it's very fun to try it. If you did give it a try, leave a comment to share your experience. If you're interested in other Chinese ingredients, let me know in the comment as well. I will consider making a video to talk about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.